stay in the fight for our rivers. Also tonight, protests over southern water pumping sewage into chalk streams on the River Test, which are protected sites of scientific interest. Now, hundreds of people have gathered at a water treatment works in Hampshire protesting against sewage being pumped into the River Test. Yes, environmental campaigners and anglers say the world-famous chalk stream is under threat because of the amount of untreated waste being dumped there. Well, Southern Water says record rainfall means its nearby treatment site is in high demand but is promising investment. Rachel Hepworth has the story. What they are doing is morally wrong. A large crowd outside the Fullerton Water Treatment Works in the Test Valley. Their anger voiced by actor and angling activist Jim Murray. This issue of raw, untreated sewage being dumped directly into a, a triple SI chalk stream such as the River Test. It's outrageous, it's wrong morally, ethically, environmentally. The Test is world famous for its fishing, with river keepers at the sharp end. We're seeing the numbers of species declining. Just a collapse in biodiversity and our rivers are really at the front end. You might think things are bad terrestrially but it's a damn sight worse in the rivers. Today samples were taken at the plant's outflow pipe revealing high levels of ammonia and phosphate. All in the red. In the red. Yeah, all in the danger zone. The landowner who's been concerned for years filmed this yesterday. I've never seen lumps of faecal matter, lumps of toilet tissue going, coming down this river ever. No and I'm lucky enough to have been around here since 1980. It's this year it's off the scale and, it's, and it, they're not even acknowledging it as an incident. Southern Water says record rainfall is putting huge pressure on its infrastructure, with Fullerton processing 30% more water than it should. Not good enough, say campaigners. They don't feel that Southern Water really cares about their environment. We really do care about the environment. We're part of the community too. What's going on is is unfortunate, it's unacceptable and we don't want it to happen either. The storm overflow at Fullerton is unfortunately being used to prevent that system from backing up into people's homes and flooding. The company says it's investing millions in improving drainage systems, relining sewers to prevent leaks and has earmarked £26 million to expand Fullerton's capacity. But for campaigners, including Jim Murray's wife, the actor Sarah Parrish, it's too little too late. They're woefully underprepared for flooding, which we get obviously a lot now because of climate change. Every year there will be this enormous amount of, I can't say the word, <laughs> flowing, into, flowing into our beautiful chalk stream. It's by no means an isolated protest, with water companies under huge pressure to justify profits and consumer costs. But campaigners say it's the cost of the planet that concerns them most, and they'll continue to make themselves heard. Rachel Hepworth, ITV News, in Stockbridge.